Hi everyone, my name is Aparna Bhatia, and this week's tech tip is about how to add whole series with CNC codes to your panels. Um, so this uh, process basically assists you in uploading your panels to Onyx uh, flawlessly, and also it assists with your CN CSV files reading correctly, okay, or reading the data correctly. So what we're going to add is a few service holes uh, or slot holes um, in our panel so that uh, our MEP services can use those to go through the panel. And this would be like pre-approved by structural engineers. That way um, you won't have any coordination issues um, and less back and forth for coordination anyways. Um, we are also going to add some web holes and that is to connect one panel to another and in if they're especially uh, aligned in series like this, okay? So um, let's go ahead and get started. There's two ways to add whole series. One is through your properties, and the second is actually by adding adding it as a post-processing uh, process um, by going into, by clicking your panel, then going into tools and clicking on edit whole series. The user interface here is exactly the same as if you were going through your properties and adding them in. So first things first, we need to add whole series to our project uh, or whole types to our project. So let's go ahead and first uh, start with our first slot hole. Um, so here we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it four inch slot hole. Oops, sorry. S-L-O-T-H-H-O-L-E. And then here you can specify your CNC operation codes. So CNC operation codes always vary per machine. So you can get this data from your manufacturer, machine manufacturer, or you can get this data from your machine operative, and um, you'll know exactly what the tooling code will be for this. Okay, I'm going to go according to the Havoc machine, and we're just going to call this uh, SLOT here in all caps, because that's the CNC operation code for our slot hole or service hole. Um, so uh, we can also choose which members we want this hole to penetrate through. So if we add this whole series uh, in our project, um, which members do we want it to go through? I don't want it to go through the kings uh, and jacks for our uh, within our project. So we can actually navigate through this list and find all the kings and jacks. Um, so in this case, it will be the JSD, it will be the SD. Um, and uh, I'll keep scrolling down. And then we have the SW and JSW, so that's for the windows. And then we have the JS and the SO um, for the uh, openings, okay? So SD was, SD was for the doors, SW was for the windows, SO is for the openings, okay? And then JS is jack studs. Um, so basically, we're gonna do those. Um, but other than that, everything else, it's okay if it goes through. So we'll go ahead and add that in. Once we add that in over here, you'll see description and you'll see that the size doesn't match what I've written here. So I want it to be four inches. So we're going to go ahead and edit the shape. Um, so here we're going to make it two inches center to center. And then over here for the diameter, we're going to also make that two inches. And we're going to go ahead and hit save. So here you'll notice that the length is four inches and it's the width is two inches. Okay, so that's basically the size of my slot hole now. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm also going to um, add another hole type and that is going to be a round hole. And this round hole is going to be used as a web hole. So I want to create a half inch web hole. And again, according to your machine, the CNC code has to be put in. So in this case, it's going to be web. And uh, like I said before, I don't want it to penetrate through everything. I only want it to penetrate through the um, end studs. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and check or select none and just scroll down and find my EV uh, like description here or EV tag and select that. So EV stands for end vertical. So that's the only one I wanted to go through. And I will basically go ahead and add that whole type. Now uh, we're gonna hit save here for a second. So now the whole types are saved in the project. How do we add them? That's up to you. You can add it using center bay, you can add it using vertical spaced, 
uh, horizontally spaced or by offset. Right now I'm going to add it by offset and I'm just going to add one at uh, six inches from the bottom of the panel. I want that to be the half inch web hole. And then I want the same six inches, um, make sure that I type inches, from the top of the panel. And I want that half inch web hole again. So it doesn't matter what the height of the panel is, it will always be six inches from the top and six inches from the bottom. The next one I want to add is a two, uh, two foot from the bottom of the panel, um, my um, slot hole. And then I want to add it at two foot from the top of the panel, again, another slot hole. So this way I have everything set up by offset. For the slot hole, you could also do it vertically spaced so that it uh, doesn't matter what the panel height is, the um, location of the service hole is consistent throughout the entire uh, project. That way you're not going up and down, up and down with the pipes and um, elements basically. Um, so it's up to you how you'd like to add it. For me right now, all my wall types are, or wall heights are the same. So I'll add it this way. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and hit save here. And now all we need to do to see the whole series is regenerate. And you can do the same steps uh, through your uh, template properties and uh, you'll still get the same result. So here you can see that these whole series got added and over here it didn't go through the um, king studs because that's how we set it up. Um, and over here for the web hole, we actually have it going through our uh, only the end studs and not our typical vertical studs. So that's it for this week's tech tip. Have a great day.